Most of us use GPS daily to navigate our drives, but in the wrong hands, it's a terrifying tool that can help stalkers track their victims. And it's been difficult to detect hidden trackers until now. Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas has covered this topic for years, and tonight shows us a promising development from NYU researchers. A car riddled with 11 bullet holes on a street lined with police in St. Albans, Queens. There were so many spectators. Donna McMillan rushed to the scene after learning her cousin, Tyrone Jones, had been shot and killed. It was something that to this day I still have nightmares about. As much as I try to remember the beautiful big smile that he has, sometimes I also think about how he looked in that moment. Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz says the shooter, Isaiah Stokes, was hell-bent on revenge after Jones asked him to leave a party. Prosecutors say Stokes, a well-known actor who appeared on shows including Law & Order, The Americans, and Blue Bloods, stuck this GPS tracker on the bottom of Jones's car a week before the shooting. A judge sentenced Stokes to 25 years to life in prison for the murder in March. The attacker will just take this. Tragedies like that inspired Mo Sat and a team of researchers at NYU's Tandon School of Engineering. Sat says there are already ways to detect Bluetooth trackers like Apple AirTags, but solutions are few for GPS trackers. That's right, because I've gotten notifications on my phone saying, hey, there's an AirTag traveling with you. Right. But stalkers don't just use AirTag. If a cyber stalker is looking to track someone, they're not going to use an AirTag because Apple and Samsung and Android have figured out a way to alert people. So, Sat started using a device already on the market called a spectrum analyzer to track signals from nearby electronics. Unlike phones and other devices, Sat realized GPS trackers send out signals like clockwork to save battery, typically every minute on the dot while moving. There we go. That allows him to distinguish the GPS tracker under his car from other devices. And now he's working to develop a way for stalking victims to detect those same unique signals. So they won't have to be looking at spikes, right? They're just going to have an app or something that will Bluetooth to their phone that will talk to a device like this and say, you, with a, with a high degree of probability, you have a tracker with you. If Tyrone had that, do you think he might still be here? Absolutely. I think that he would have been able to identify that he was being tracked. This could have been prevented. Sat and his team are now working to secure additional investors and support to turn their plans into reality. They're presenting their findings this summer at a major cybersecurity conference, and victim advocates say their work, so far, sounds very promising. Tim McNicholas, CBS News, New York. And if you have a story idea for Tim or our investigative team, scan the QR code on your screen. You could see your story end up on our air.